Hey, what's your favorite kind of revenge? Subtle? Creative? Blunt? How about art revenge? My heart stopped because it was like, Oh, all I could see is these eyes staring at me. Yeah, so that's a grandmother in Dallas who now has these three disgusting works of art overlooking her pool. Her neighbor says they're an art installation. But our grandmother here claims this gallery is retaliation for having trimmed her neighbor's crepe myrtles. That's a tree, not a snack. Which were hanging over the fence and dropping leaves into her pool. Trim the tree straight up from the fence line. Grandma claims the neighbor was fine with the pruning at first. And besides, Grandma says it's her legal right to trim those trees. But the neighbor claims the tree trimming went too far and exposed their back patio to anyone who might want to sneak a peek at whatever they've got going on back there. Maybe this neighbor's into trimming their own bush in private. Who knows? If she's afraid of me looking in her yard, which I'm not. So first, the neighbor hung up these subtle signs on the grandma's side of the fence. Warning, no trimming, violators will be prosecuted. Grandma promptly took them down as this private property is her private property. And soon after, she woke up to find this eye art installation on top of the fence. And even though art is subjective in the eye of the beholder, I don't think you'll see this stuff in the Guggenheim anytime soon. Grandma complained to the city, which declared its installation to be illegal graffiti and ordered it be taken down. And it was, only to be replaced by this beautiful gallery. I'll say this, she might be bleeding from her eye sockets, but it's certainly not graffiti. Um, it's just very disturbing. Yeah. And then when I, I Googled, you know, these pictures to see what they mean, mm -hmm. One of the captions that came up is, be prepared to be very scared. So to me, that's threatening. So I carried out a reverse image search and found our ocularly challenged friend here has been seen in the India Times in an article called, Why Women Can Freak You Out in the Best Possible Way, this medium blog about how alcohol is the worst drug in the world, and in a YouTube video by a Vienna-trained, Stockholm-born composer, conductor, musicologist, and historian who holds two PhDs among a dozen degrees, who's really putting that education to work here. And the artwork itself appears to be a free-to-use image called Woman's Face, uploaded to Pexels.com. It's been downloaded 30,000 times and was uploaded in 2019 by Alina Araja, whose bio says, they're getting rid of my photos, different in content and quality. A statement that very much appears to be true. They've uploaded everything from a portrait of a Lithuanian abrasive paste, to a cat near some Christmas lights, to some hangers, this, and yeah, some more spooky stuff. Though I think we can all agree that this is the star of the show here. It's just the anxiety. Every morning, I mean, I'm just, I, I see that and it's just anxiety, you know, it's like, you can't even enjoy your backyard when you see something like, like this. Our grandmother here claims this stock photo and triplicate has scared her grandchildren and even her dog. And this civil litigation attorney thinks this poolside gallery violates private nuisance laws. So I think it's very likely there's a argument here that this person has created a nuisance. Um, there's no, seems to be no utility to this artwork other than to annoy and harass her neighbor. And um, I think that that might be a remedy for her. Grandma's ready to file a lawsuit and go to court if the city doesn't get involved. And just in case this art display does end up getting taken down, I do want to point out that woman wearing makeup and black contact lens is also freely available in case they want to put up another exhibit.